So y'all don't talk about me. Don't laugh at me. Listen long, long enough, you can love me. Special thanks to Eunice Hair and the Bet You series for sponsoring this video. Hi ladies and gentlemen and everybody in between. I'm back for another video and guess what? It is wine and wigs day. Clink, 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 clink. Mm. If you haven't been here before, wine and wigs day is any day of the week that I come on here with a wig on. So today I'm drinking some ginger tea with some grapefruit squeezed in it. But right now it's 718. So I'm about to get ignorant. Grab a drink because this is gonna be a long, like chatty sort of video. I have a little ginger tea, squeeze of grapefruit, and some house. I'm whispering because I don't want my man to know I'm an alcoholic. So Today, we're going to be doing a wig must-haves video. So we're gonna be talking about all of the things that you need to get your wig on and popping. And this is like basic, affordable level stuff. I think maybe two things are not on Amazon, but I have Amazon alternatives. All of this stuff is stuff I've been using for years or stuff that, that I've just added to my wig arsenal that I use every single time. I am doing my wigs. You just can't slap a wig on your head and expect it to look like Aaliyah's face, Aaliyah's J's, shoot, even Nicki Minaj's back in the day. <laughs> you need certain products to make that happen. Before we get into that, this video is sponsored. I wanna say thank you to Eunice Hair for sponsoring this video. We're excited. And this Eunice Hair sponsorship is, of course, on this wig on my head. This hair is the Eunice Dark Brown wig with blonde highlights. It has Biolage highlights in the color FB30. This is a 13 by four lace frontal wig. So the lace stops right here, which is pretty good. I mean, that's pretty good. And the density is 150%. So she's not super thick at all. It's 24 inches, so she is long, honey. She is long, long. And this wig has three combs and adjustable straps in the back. So I'm gonna go ahead and curl this unit. I'm gonna show y'all how I bump and get some curls in my units. I've already blow dried it out. Of course, applied it, put some baby hairs. Y'all can't tell me this don't look like my hair. So all the products that I'm using in this video, or well, most of them, I would say like 90% of them, I actually used on this wig today to customize it, and I use it in my wig customizations all the time. So we're just gonna go ahead and start curling. I'm just gonna start from the back one more thing you all while we're curling this hair i wanted to let you all know that i have a coupon code for 10 percent off this 24 inch 150 percent density lace frontal wig it is gorgeous and you can get 10 percent off if you use the coupon code my eunice yes i said 10 percent off i'll leave those details down in the description box below finally have curled this hair and I got like these effortless waves. Oh my God, I love it. Let's relax and talk. Y'all got y'all drink? What y'all drinking? Y'all let me know down below. Let's go ahead and get into the products. Let's start off with customization products. So we're gonna go from beginning to end. I have found that one of the most important things I need to do is bleach my knots. 
The things that I use with bleaching my knots, of course, is a, a powder bleach. So I like to use the L'Oreal Technique High Performance Quick Blue Powder. One good thing is that it does color correct while it's bleaching and it's really, really smooth. And you can get the little packets if you're only gonna be bleaching one wig, of course. I'm at least bleaching the knots of one to two wigs a week. So I get the big container and she is $19.99 from my local beauty supply store. You can also get this off Amazon. I'm not sure how much it's gonna be, but I'll go ahead and add it to the link down below. I'll also add it to my Amazon store so y'all have everything in one place. Got it, got it. So developers is the cream that you mix the powder with and i guess it activates it girl i don't know the science behind it i just use it so i like to use the clairol pure white cream developer i don't know why i've used these but i've been using these for years so this is the only ones i use i don't use any other brands i like these in particular now i keep a 30 volume and a 40 volume developer on hand because i like to use my 40 volume developer for bleaching the knot on dark hair. So if you have dark roots, I like to use it on these because it's stronger. But if I have a blonde wig and the knots are already bleached and I'm not trying to take the color up too much and damage the hair because the hair has obviously already been bleached before, I'll use my 30 volume developer. And sometimes I'll use it with hair coloring as well. So I try and keep both on hand. If I had to choose and I was on like a budget budget and I only had to choose one, I would keep the 40 volume developer and just use it for no less time. To mix the powder bleach, I use one of these coloring bowls. I actually don't use the brush any longer, but you can use it to spread it onto the lace and stuff like that. But I found there's a better product for that and that is a plastic spoon. So I will take the bleach in the developer mix it in here and then I'll take the back of the spoon and then spread it onto the lace while it's laying almost like a bowl and I'll spread it into it. So much easier and it just makes it easier. You don't need anything but a plastic spoon and a plastic bowl. Let me get this shoulder back out. I'll just get plastic spoons from the grocery store. Spread it on girl, you got yourself a nice easy bleach love it love it love it and i'll be using this brush to apply my lace but we'll talk about that later of course we need to go into safety so i like to get some rubber gloves latex gloves when i'm mixing the bleach or spreading it onto the knots it does sometimes get messy and it gets on your hands now i have to be honest i don't be um safe like that because i have in the past gotten bleach on my fingers and i'm telling you it literally gives you a chemical burn and my fingers turned white it was creepy i didn't like it it was a chemical burn don't do that that's not good for you get you some latex gloves some rubber gloves I don't want your hands to age faster than you get you some gloves it's you need it it's worth it i promise so now that we've done the bleaching the knots and all of that i want to show y'all a knot bleaching alternative Ooh, 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 where is she so if you are a novice at bleaching knots and you just bought yourself an expensive wig and you were like girl if i mess this up I am literally gonna fight somebody out in the street and just start windmilling everywhere I go. Listen, I get it, I have a product. It is the Perfect Line Swiss Lace Wig and Grids Filler and Not Eraser. I've used this in my video before and I think I used it on some stubborn knots, not actually a non-bleached knot wig, but I will tell you this sit. It's like a um, wax, product that mimics the scalp you place it on your lace it fills up the hole so it looks more like skin so it creates like a skin like texture and it also it covers up your knots so i think it's great i don't use it all the time because i am a knot bleacher this is a really good alternative my color is mish this is a really good product i think you should try it out if you're looking for an alternative to bleaching your knots Sister came up with something and it's black on so so now that we went over like bleaching the knots and bleaching the knots alternatives we're gonna get into washing the hair now i'm not attached to products for washing my wigs to be honest i don't really care i found that the best formula for my wigs is these pantene products i use the pantene pro v smooth and sleek 
line. Actually, my husband used this on his hair and then I used it on one of my wigs and I was like, hmm. It really does a good job of washing the wigs, keeping them smooth, not drying them out, and it's affordable. Like I told y'all, I'm not picky because this ain't my hair. This is some other girl's hair. Now, let's get into hair color. Now, I don't have any hair coloring products that I absolutely love, but one thing that I like to keep on hand, especially if I have blonde wigs, is a, a dark ash blonde hair color. When I get 613 wigs or really, really blonde wigs, I like more of an ash color. So I like to keep this Revlon Color Silk hair color. It's super affordable. I think you can get it for like two, three bucks. If you have a blonde wig and you're like, oh, she is something's wrong with her. She's giving me Pamela Anderson. She's giving me Trisha Paytas. <laughs> She's giving me like yellowish blonde, dry blonde. I need like a warmer blonde. I feel like I love this product. It's affordable and it does the job. Speaking of hair color, another product I like to keep on hand to tone. That's what that one does. It tones my blondes. That's what I should have said. It toned it. So I love the shimmer lights y'all know i got the teeny teeny tiny one because the big bottle is expensive i think she's like 20 dollars or something like that girl i don't get that many blonde wigs so i don't need to be doing that i like the shimmer light shampoo for my blonde wigs or my slightly orange wigs this is a color enhancing shampoo so it is a purple shampoo and it smells like like almost like your grandma's perfume but it's a really deep purple shampoo and it tones your blonde hair or your blonde wigs. I like to keep this on hand. I think it's handy to have and it's only $3.99. Get the little bottle, girl. Don't get the big bottle. It's not worth it. So you can get the shampoo and conditioner, but girl, I'm cheap. Only I want. Let's talk about wig heads. Okay, so last time, my last wig must-haves video, I had showed y'all a wig head. I done upgraded, it, but please, Please believe I still got this wig head on standby. It's hard for me to even get rid of her. So y'all don't talk about me. Don't laugh at me. If you were looking for a wig head, you ain't gotta pay nothing but $5 for a wig head from your local beauty supply store, your local Sally's. You can even get it off Amazon. Put a little tape on her. You can use this wig head for a long time. I got this Ikea lamp post, okay? Okay, so we take the little post, right? The wig head didn't fit, right? So I took a little old toilet paper roll. This toilet paper roll is from 2002. And then I just put it, I put it on there and she fit perfectly. Now this is $5. This is a good alternative for you girls that are not trying to spend that much money on your wig products. Grab some stuff around your house and make some shape. This is a 22 inch uh, canvas wig head and it's styrofoam underneath and it's just covered i think that's styrofoam and it also comes with a anchor bit i don't know what you call this it's like a little thing so you can attach it to your desk we love that for us i could get the tripod but y'all know me i'm cheap i've been trying to figure out ways around not getting the tripod <laughs> This is the only one I can find in this color. Why am I rambling on about these wig heads? Let me move along. So these are T-pins. Can you see? I use T-pins to attach the lace of my wig into the wig head. So you can use it on your, wig, your canvas wig head. You can also use it on your regular wig head. But these T-pins are so important because it keeps your wig from slipping and sliding around your wig head. If you're going to be customizing a wig, it's so important to have some T-pins. So get you some T-pins, girl. It'll make your life easier. Let's go ahead and get into our wig application products. Now, y'all know this is my zhuzh, this is my thing. Y'all already know what time it is. It's time for the handy dandy wig customization kit. So this is like a little kit that I put together myself for all the things that I like to use because I'm a scatterbrained person. I found that it's easier for me to put everything into like a little case. I think I actually need to get a bigger case now or I need to get smaller products, one of the two. But it's called the Relabel Makeup Kit. This is everything that I use on a daily basis. I'm just gonna show y'all this part. So I put all of my, I don't know if these are called duck bill clips or alligator clips. I like to keep these on hand. I have them in gold and silver. These are important to clip your hair away. It makes everything easier. It is also important to have these plastic ones. These hold your hair a lot better 
than these little silver and gold ones but i do like to have them on hand so go ahead and get you some girl i be using these i also like to use these clips what do you call these banana clips have banana clips on hand i always lose these though because i used to have like six or seven of these i don't know what happened to them i need to order some more your girl is cheap i don't i don't know what you want from me okay so next let's start with the base of applying the wig i am not a ball cap method girl i like my wigs to look good but i'm not that detailed i'm very lazy i try to be as lazy as possible and cut as many corners as possible while still still making my wig look good from six feet we still in a pop goes the weasel and y'all don't need to be that close to me anyway for my base my favorite thing to do is take my wig grip and but i put a wig grip on and then i put my wig cap over it and that's my base what i'm telling you is get your wig grip girl it'll save you it's good for closure wigs because you don't have to glue down your wig you can just throw in your wig and go it's good for synthetic wigs my wig grip is uh, the foundation to this channel, girl. <laughs> my only thing about the wig grip is that the colors just be off. Like, it's, it's like almost pink. Get your wig grip. It doesn't let me down. Keeps my wigs on. Keeps them tight. Speaking of wig caps, I like to use the... Typically, it's the Dream Lover wig caps. I think you can get them from Amazon. But typically, these wig caps come with the wigs so i like to use the brown wig caps this one's a little bit too light for me but get you a good wig cap and try your best to get in your skin tone they definitely need to do better in the wig cap department with skin tones but i'll leave some links down below of the wig caps that have like different skin tones if i don't use my wig grip I like to just spray on my wig cap just to make sure it sticks to my hair. So I will use the Got To Be High Insta Hold Spray. You already know about the Got To Be Glued Spray. They have the free spray. I think this is like, like this is its successor. Let me calm down with the S's because <laughs> this house about to kick in. But I also like to use it to apply my wigs sometimes depending on what I'm doing. This is one of my sprays. Now my alternative, now if you wanna step up, a little bit my luxury wig spray is the wig dealer melting spray this spray baby it is amazing now they're very very similar if you're on a budget get you this but if you want to spend a little bit more money a little bit more coin on your wig spray i love this i did a full comparison video if you want to know which wig spray is better i find that this one is better because it has less reflection it it melts better it's just a better product and it's black owned so you know i'm gonna buy it i like to have both on hand plus this is travel size so if i'm traveling i can just keep this in my little wig bag it's tiny it's travel size and it's better period so since we're talking about wig application one thing i like to use and y'all this is dirty one thing i like to use for wig application is the same coloring bowl i like to use the hair coloring bowl and this little brush to apply my wigs y'all my titty is really trying to fall out my titties ain't big enough to fall out they just show up spray but i'll spray the spray into the bowl take the brush boom apply it so much easier so much better it looks better it's less of a mess i like using this for that i like to use rapid strips i'm sure if you've been in a black salon you've seen it before but i like using this to melt my lace or lay down my baby hairs i don't like using scarves because they get dirty you have to wash them i'm lazy i like to make things easier for myself and these rapid strips do a great job of melting your lace while being disposable so this is the Eben Tinted Lace Aerosol Spray. It's supposed to tint your lace and make it look realistic. I've been using it on my lace lately, lately and I like it. Now, I don't think it's the best in town, but it's available, it's on Amazon, and it comes straight to your door, okay, within a couple of days. I'm probably gonna try out in the future a couple of lace tints, but this one is good to me, and I have the color Medium Dark brown because like i said i'm brown skinnedy now when i read the reviews it was like eh for it but i like it and it smells good so 
Y'all already know, I'm a lace plucker now and I like to lay down my baby hairs, all that type of stuff. If you like to lay down your baby hairs, you need to cut your lace and you need to pluck your hairline. Just get you an eyebrow kit. I show this in almost every single video, but this is the eyebrow kit that I purchased. Now, this eyebrow kit ain't nothing special. It's just a tin can with some stuff in it. If you know anything about customizing your lace, you're gonna need a couple things. So, to pluck your hairline, which means you're plucking the hair out of your hairline to make it thinner and make it look more like your natural hairline, you're gonna need tweezers. This eyebrow kit, of course, comes with tweezers. If you need to cut your lace, some people use razors. Some people use scissors. Of course, it comes with eyebrow trimmers, but you can also use this to cut your lace. Now, these are pointy. Don't cut this while it's on your head. It will cut you. You also can use the eyebrow razor. It comes with, I think, three razors. You could use the eyebrow razors to cut your lace as well. You also, if you would like to do your baby hairs, you can use the little spoolie and lay down your baby hairs. You also can use the little angled brush right here and you can use it to conceal your part literally everything in your eyebrow kit can be used on your lace i just came up with something where's my donut but if you want to get everything in one for all like nine cent dollars get your eyebrow kit girl yeah i'll leave a link for this one down below since i am a wig girl i actually do use shears and razors to cut my hair and all that type of stuff so i've had these anti shears for a while it's time for me to get a new pair but it is important to have shears to cut your hair don't be cutting your lace with regular scissors get you some shears you want something really precise so you don't end up messing up your lace. I like to use Andy shears to cut my uh, wig hair and I also like to use it to um, cut the lace. I also like to keep a razor. This is the Kiss um, hair cutter. That's what they call it, a hair cutter. I was like, y'all ain't got better words than that. So I use the Kiss hair cutter to layer my hair, trim my hair, all of that. It's good for if you're a first timer as well, so. I keep a baby hairbrush on hand, sis. Wow, am I drunk? So I keep a baby hairbrush on hand. It's so important to have a baby hairbrush, especially the one with the little tiny comb at the end. I use the tiny little comb to lay down my lace. So it goes in between my hairs and I can lay down the lace like this without pushing down any extra hair. And of course, we use the baby hairbrush to lay down the baby hairs, but these are only like a dollar or two on Amazon, but I think you can also get it from your local beauty supply store, but I'll leave links for it down below in my little store. Um, speaking of baby hairs, when I lay down my baby hairs, I like to use got to be glued gel. I like to use the um, Invincible Styling Gel. Um, it's not like a super soft look. I haven't found a mousse. Since I don't glue down my wigs, I don't like to use a mousse. I like to use a gel because it gives it extra security. It keeps the wig sturdy. Like she not coming off my head. Not today at least, probably tomorrow if I got in a fight. <laughs> if y'all see me windmill in the street, this wig is coming off. For my hair, I also like to keep a rat tail comb. In particular, like the metal rat tail comb, but this one is a black ice carbon rat tail comb. This rat tail comb in particular is the important one if you want to do the chase method. So if you want to really straighten your hair, you're gonna take the comb, take the flat iron, and then flatten the hair. Get you a carbon one because if you don't, it's going to melt the comb. This comb does not melt. It is a sturdy comb and I love the metal end because you can precisely part your hair. Yeah, but I like to keep a little comb on me. So our last batch of products is going to be hair styling tools or hair styling products. For my curly wigs, I like to keep a, almost like a Denman brush. I use the Evolve 572 brush. It clumps the curls like a dream. When I'm washing curly hair, I don't like to use a comb because it really doesn't clump the curls like I need it to. I like to use this 572 brush to clump those curls together and it's like the Denman, but to me it's better because it's cheaper. Plus on your natural hair, if you like want to scratch your scalp, girl, I'll just go through. Whew, it feels so good on the scalp. 
Ooh, I love this brush. Had it for years and I haven't lost a tooth on this thing. Yeah, ma'am. Yeah, ma'am. For styling the hair, I also like to use a flattening souffle. So the mousse that I use is the ZLA flattening mousse. You can get any mousse. This one I don't think is available on Amazon. I have found outside of plucking the hairline, melting and laying your hairline backwards with a flattening souffle or a mousse, a particular mousse that is for hairlines on lace wigs is so important. Literally, I feel like that's what makes a wig go from looking like it was $20 to $500, I'm telling you. Get you a mousse and get you a hot comb. Let's talk about the hot comb though. So I like to use the Andis hot comb. So I'll flatten my hairline, lay her down, then I'll use my Andis hot comb and I'll hot comb the hair backwards and get the hair out of my face and make it look more like it's growing out of my scalp. I'm telling you, get you a hot comb, miss. Now, I don't think this is the best hot comb. It's not the best, but she real cheap. I think you can get her for like $15. Use the mousse, use this, lay it down. I'm telling you, thank me later because I just, I'm telling you, I just gave y'all a plug. Changed my whole entire life. For my curly hair, I like to uh, have a continuous spray bottle. Now, this continuous spray bottle is from Amazon. It is, it, I'm not gonna spray it right now because the water in it is all moldy and whatnot. This continuous spray bottle sprays without you having to like keep pumping it. You ain't gotta pump, 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 pump. Don't nobody wanna do that. Now if you want your hands to have abs, have at it sis. I like to have this, it's worth it. Speaking of curly hair, I have multiple blow dryers, but one of the blow dryers I need to have is a blow dryer with a diffuser. Now, my cheap behind always thought diffusers were for the rich girls. I found a really good blow dryer that has a diffuser on it. This one was only like 15, 20 bucks. Love it, and it's affordable. While we're speaking about hot tools, I like to use a heat protectant. I take better care of my wigs than I do my hair. Judge me if you want to, but... So, uh, anytime I use a hot tool on my wigs, I have to use a heat protectant. So I like to use the Tresemme Keratin Smooth Heat Protectant. It smells good, it's easy to apply, you just spray it on and go. And I've had this one for at least a year. Get you some of this if you're looking for a heat protectant spray and it's really, really affordable. I just love how it smells though, it smells so good, so good. So if you don't know, I recently have been obsessed with the blow dryer community. And I've noticed the blow dryer community has been using like these roller blow dryers. And this one is the Revlon 1200 watt ionic blow dryer. Now I've had this blow dryer for a while and it came with three attachments and I use these attachments like once. This blow dryer comes with three attachments. The only attachment that I used frequently was this one to blow dry my hairline quickly. So it comes with three attachments, but these two heads curl your hair. If you're looking for that blow dried sort of look, I love using this. So I think this is a one and a half inch and a one inch barrel and I'll use it to curl my hair. I have a couple of videos where I've used it and it's really affordable. So if you are looking for a blow dryer, I feel like this one's a good one for multiple uses on your wigs. So still a tried and true, love it a pieces. So if you are curling your wig, I like this curler, I actually use the curler today. This is not the best curler, but she is affordable and it gets really, really hot. Um, this is the Conair hair curler. I think it's cute. I got it in white. I think it was like 16, 17 bucks, maybe cheaper. It gets the job done. I'm not out here trying to pay all this money for a hair curler. I'm not a Dyson girl yet. Miss me. Miss me. The only thing I don't like is that the buttons are on the front. And when I'm curling the hair, it turns off because I'll be pressing the button. That gets on my nerves, but I'm not going to spend 20 extra dollars to solve that problem. So if y'all have a, a recommendation for a hair curler, please let me know down below, but this works good enough for me. So for hair straighteners, this Remington flat iron is so 
good. It has super high ratings on Amazon because it is good. It does its job. It gets really hot and I've had it for years and it flat irons your hair like a dream. I love it so, 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 so much. This is like a must have. Of course, you're going to be straightening your wigs. You got to have a flat iron if you're going to be wearing straight wigs. If you're wearing curly wigs, then you don't need it. But if you're going to be wearing straight wigs, get you one of these. It's affordable, you can have it on hand, and you don't have to spend a lot of money on a flat iron. Get you a carbon comb, get you this flat iron, and you'll get yourself like a nice silk press. Last thing is hairspray. I just now have gotten into hairspray. I wasn't really a hairspray girl, but since I'm curling my hair and stuff like that, I have, I'm getting fat tongue. What is that? I've been using the Pantene air spray. It's an alcohol free hairspray and it has brushable, flexible control. This hairspray smells like deodorant and it smells so good to me. But I love this spray. It holds the hair without making it crunchy. Nice flexible hold. It's affordable. And this Pantene. Pantene need to sponsor me because girl, I never used to spray my hair and my curls will always fall tragically. And I've had these curls in for a couple of hours and they still have a nice wave to it. Love that for me, love that for you. Get you some hairspray. I think that is everything. If you have any products in your wig journey that you've been using that you would like to tell me about or let the girls know about down below, please spread the word girl. I'm always trying to try new products and figure out what products are gonna work best with my wig. But y'all let me know what products are your must haves in your wig kit. If I helped you, please let me know. I have a full store down below. Thank you to Eunice Hair for sponsoring this video and providing this gorgeous, gorgeous wig to me. I'll leave links down below. And of course, I have a coupon code. I'll leave the coupon code down below as well. I think that's everything, y'all. Whoo, my nose is stopped up and I'm a bit blessed. I love you all, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.